Here we are. I've never taped from our bedroom and I figured why not tonight? So many of you have probably figured out what this video is about today and I'm gonna jump right in. We finally found the unicorn home. We finally found it and we figured between drive-bys, open houses, one-on-one -on -one showings we've probably looked at about a hundred houses and we were giving up hope we literally decided uh two weeks ago let's slow down let's just put the brakes on and maybe wait till next year or wait until ben completely retires which could be five eight years who knows and it all of a sudden just happened you know, I think sometimes when you try so hard at something, it just doesn't come to you. But if you just think about it and let it happen, it does. And that is what happened with this home. And when I think about how many homes that I was prepared to, to move because it was almost right, almost perfect, almost the one we were looking for, but if it was something Ben would like, I would kind of bring us back and say it's not right. Or if it was something I really wanted, Ben would bring us back and say it's not quite right. Because we both agreed that we would not move until we were both excited that it fit our unicorn wish list. We have 29 things that we check off on homes that we go to see. And it almost made all the checks. I have to admit, we found our unicorn house. So I'm going to show you in a moment, a very short interior video because one, it was pouring rain outside. So I didn't take any exterior photos. It was very busy inside. But as soon as I opened my car door, even with the pouring rain, even while opening my umbrella, I felt like I was stepping out into our driveway. Now to some that might sound crazy, to others you know exactly what I mean. I felt like I was already home. And when we walked inside the door, I felt enveloped. And that was just the first room, just the, the porch. And as soon as I walked over the threshold into the kitchen, it had me a hello. And I could have probably not have walked around the rest of the house and would have known it was the one. And I had to hold in my excitement. Um, we actually stocked the house for a week. Uh, they, it came on the market. We wanted to see it. They would not show it to anybody except for this open house. So. There was a lot of people in there very anxious like us to see the property and we were determined we made a plan and the plan worked so let me tell you a little bit about the unicorn wish list because i know a lot of you first of all asked what's the unicorn house what does that mean I really, I honestly thought it was something that I created as a word. Nope, nope, nope. I, I looked it up online just to make sure and it's everywhere. Real estate agents use that term. I had no idea. So, but I'm still gonna stick with, it's something that we started for this house and we bought the almost unicorn home for here. 
because we knew it was not going to be our forever home. And I'll talk about that in a moment too, because a lot of you have asked, why are we moving? But this unicorn list, wish list, is something that I would suggest to any of you who are house hunting, because it really helped us kind of not just go into it with emotional feelings, these are facts. These are facts that we were looking for. And it could have been a beautiful sunny day, birds singing, butterflies flittering about. And we might have forgot that there were some things that we really wanted in our forever home. So mind you, this is our preference. Everybody's going to have their own list. And we probably could have added to it. But we started to look at things. We're like, let's just do the 29. Not 30, not 28, but 29. So what we have here is a list that would say, the property name, there's check boxes, and we both put down things that we wanted. So one of them was acreage. Now it looks like we have a lot of land here at our home, but really it's only on about an acre. We are surrounded by a beautiful field that is owned by a school, and we do get the ability to walk out there and enjoy it, the views, the sunsets, you've seen a lot of that, but it's not our property. and it's not private out back either so we wanted a little privacy so i guess when i go through this list it's almost the why reasons that we're moving and then I, there's a couple others that aren't on here so one was the acreage another barn or outbuilding now i grew up on a homestead that had several barns it had a blacksmith shop it had a mill on it so i was very spoiled and that was on 65 acres ben never had a barn but he did have a vintage vehicle, he'd like to get another, and a tractor. So next to the first one, the acreage, it says Kubota test because with that land, he wants to get himself a tractor. And you'll see at the end of this video, well, you'll see. On uh, privacy, but not seclusion. Now, we want, want it to be private, but Ben does travel a lot for work, so I don't want to feel secluded and all by myself. I want to be able to look out my window and see the glow of another neighboring window. If it's a stormy night or a cold winter night, I just want to feel like there's somebody else around. So that was key. There was some that we looked at a home on the top of a mountain, nowhere. I mean, we were in nowhere and there was no houses around us. I was like, mm -mm, that's not happening. Community character. We wanted a town similar to what we have here, a little village, but we didn't want to be right in it. So we are near a, a beautiful town full of restaurants and things to do, but it's about a 10 minute drive. That, that's okay. We can deal with that, but we, you know, we're getting the peace and quiet that we want. Uh, a level lot. This definitely has a level lot so that we can play on it. You know, I, I look forward to grandbabies coming in the future. We have five grown kids, so level lot for us is key. And it also it's easier to take care of versus hills and, and mowing. Quiet setting. I want to hear the birds. You know, we're on um, a main road here. And sometimes when you want to hear the birds chirping and the crickets, you can't. So we want to hear that. Once again, that's how I grew up quiet country road so I'm, I'm trying to go back to that large dining room now this house has a good size dining room it's but it's not as large as I was hoping but there is a great room so when we host our family which can go up to 20 people and I could I could transform that great room into something a fireplace visible from the kitchen. Now this one didn't at first get a check because we were watching online and looking at the photos. But once we got there, we realized that if I crook my neck, I could see a fireplace. But then I realized there is a blank wall and I could easily put in a gas fireplace because there is gas right outside the door and a propane tank or maybe a pellet stove. So I checked that off. High-end kitchen. Uh, it does have a fairly new kitchen. It has a wolf stove with a French top, and I had no idea what that was. I had to go home and Google what it was I was looking at. So I'm gonna have to learn all about this new oven. Wood burning fireplaces, check. Suitable office spaces. That was a little tough. There are definitely rooms for the offices, but they're all, to me, kind of cute and pretty. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to put office space that's not so in your face office, but I'll work on that. 
more than one living room and sitting room. Absolutely, this has that. Minimum three bedrooms, a guest room would be one of them, the master, and a room for my special needs stepdaughter. So this has that, and the guest bedroom luckily is on the first floor because we have senior parents that we hope will stay overnight. Uh, where was I? Single level living or few level changes, absolutely. This is a beautiful 1790 cape that has been remodeled. There's only one step up area to one of the guest bedrooms and I'm not sure why, but I'm gonna guess for plumbing because it has its own bathroom, but I didn't even really get to look around this house completely. So when we take a tour, you're gonna see probably more the first time than I did. So I'm, I'm excited for that. Little to no renovation required, absolutely. I don't have to touch anything in this house unless I want to. So that's one thing I did like. I was able to go in and I'm gonna be able to put my furniture down. And just live with it for a while and feel the house and feel what rooms we wanna use for what. And then I will move forward with our design plans. Uh, let's see here. Character and detail, check, check, check. You know, I've got my beehive oven, I've got some millwork and in, in woodwork in there, a beautiful paneled room. So that definitely was a checkbox. Storage spaces. There are, let me see, one, two, two outbuildings and a three car garage with a loft. So we have storage for there. So that was a check. Garage, I put that down there, yes. Bright and sunny. Now I don't have this checked off because I filled this off online at first. Once we got there, once again, it was pouring rain, but even in the pouring rain, the rooms were nice and bright, so I can't even imagine what that will be in the sun. So yes, I'm going to check that off right now. Kitchen with pantry kitchen storage. It has a little butler's pantry. So that um, I really liked seeing. Let's see, gas stove capable. Not only is it capable, it has a gas stove. Tub in or near the master bathroom. Yes, it has a tub and the shower, so that was a check. Mudroom access. I had a circle here because we didn't know, once again, looking online, but now I can check that off. I'm gonna check that off, the bright and sunny. Mudroom access, absolutely. You walk inside and you're in this very old woodshed, woodshed type feeling room, so it does have that access. No power lines. Now I, do have a pet peeve about being right under the very, very large power lines. And I'm, I know some people don't mind it. I do. It's just something. Power lines just, you know, I've just always he heard health issues. I don't know if it's true, but that's why. Garden spaces, herb, garden, sunny area. Does this have garden spaces? Friends, the gardens at this house I can't keep up with what I have right now. It's probably triple at this new house. So we are going to be doing a lot of gardening together and we're gonna be learning a lot more together because I saw some plants I had no idea what they were and I am anxious to get there with my leaf snap before they, they pass so I can at least make a little quick drawing for next year. But it has beautiful gardens and the gardens have stone walls around them. I saw wooden gates with, um, actually has purple glass globes in some of them or glass uh, discs of some sort. Once again, it was in the rain. I can't wait to see this in the sunshine. Uh, reduced cost of living. The house is less to purchase than this one was, so um, that is a definite. And uh, I should probably mention that we, we did already buy it. Um, we close on it in maybe 30 days, less than 30 days once you see this video. So that's what we're working on right now. We were able to buy that house before selling the one we are in right now. And I am now feverishly getting this house finished. And I didn't realize how much I did still have undone. I've got painting undone and whatnot. And there's a lot to do. So I might be bringing in some more help. Close to golf. And I can check that off too. So. This house, now that I'm looking at this list for the first time with you and filling in my circles, 
was 29 out of 29 boxes checked for the unicorn wish list house. I don't think you can get any better than that. So let me tell you a little bit about it. Like I said, it is a 1790s cape on a beautiful dirt road with a mountain view, open fields, and then a lot of forestry around it. Um, while we were there, somebody was saying they saw a, a black bear already. Um, we saw tons of turkeys, which we see here. I've got a bear, I think, just ruined some of my gardens. And I'm going to try to remember to insert the video uh, right now because we do have bear here. We have deer here and all the other smaller critters. But this property is something that I'll be able to work outside a lot. And I'm already looking forward to making Christmas garlands with all the greens from our own trees. Um, it has 23 acres. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but a lot of it, like I said, it's forest. So we don't have to care for 23 acres, but it is going to be at our use. Our kids are already anxious to go out there and make paths for us to go walking and doing all kinds of things in a bonfire. So we're excited that our kids are excited too. Um, and when I was saying about changes inside, there's really not a lot at all I want to change. There's going to be some paint colors, yes. I'll probably put down some new area rugs. And the only thing I see potentially happening sooner than later is a kitchen countertop because I really do love my black honed granite that I have here. I've grown to absolutely love it. And I might do my tile backsplash again, which is actually, it looks like beadboard, but it's actually a ceramic tile. So I might do that, but I think I'm going to allow myself a little bit of time first. And it is nice that I'll get the key to that property and be able to go in, mill around, move some things there. And then while this is selling or for sale, I'll be able to envision and do things there. On that note, I have a little snafu for myself. I have a bum shoulder and I already had rotator cuff surgery on this one. Not fun. Those of you who had it, you understand. Well, I was told the same day we were told that we got the house, I have to have surgery. The doctor actually said that it's being held together by angel wings and he expects once he goes in, he's going to have to do all kinds of stuff. So my dilemma was to tell him that I can't have surgery right now. I'm selling a house, buying a house, moving. I've got decorating to do. And it was pretty much, all right, you're going to have to take it easy, but you know, do what you have to do. And then I started thinking, well, oh my gosh, now there's holidays. I'm going to be there for fall. You, you, you know, I love fall. Those of you who have been with me for the past two years, you know, I like fall, you know, I like Christmas, Halloween. And how am I going to decorate a brand new house with one arm? So I actually started joking with some of my girlfriends who I know some of you are watching right now. I was half joking that I might have a cookie decorating party and ask some of my girlfriends to help me decorate. And then we'll have a little gathering, but I'm not looking forward to having the surgery because last time I was in bed for quite a while with a lot of pain and then it was, let me see, it was four weeks in a sling, which he said will probably be the case, and then two to three months of PT. So I'm not looking forward to that. Um, it was also lucky, I'm not saying that the shoulder thing was lucky, but it was very lucky that my green wallpaper did not work out right away. Because that now means I get to carry it along with me And if I choose to put it up there, I can find a wallpaper person to install it. I'm not sure if it will work up there, but if not, I'll put that for sale and maybe another designer or one of you might be interested in it. But um, I do have a wallpaper person coming by just to meet with her. And I'm gonna even see if she'll pre-cut it for me. because so if she can cut it on her table, it's a, they do have long tables that have a piece of wood or something on it with a slit and it lays on there and they go right through it and cut it. So maybe she'll, she'll do the whole roll for me, I'm not sure. But let me take you on this little tour. I'm 
just going to let some music play. Keep in mind, I was walking around just willy-nilly, trying not to get people in the video because it was very crowded. I'm not showing you all the rooms because I was not in all of them. There's, let me see, I didn't get upstairs, I didn't get to the basement, and I didn't go outside with the camera. All right, so I hope you enjoy, and I am so excited to take you along on this journey because I am so excited to get back into the groove that I was in before when we started this channel together of decorating the home, cooking, baking, holiday decor, crafting. We're going to be doing a lot in this house together and I'm very, very excited. So I hope you enjoy this little mini home tour and I will see you sometime next week. I might do another video on what to do when you're searching for your own unicorn home. I have some tips for you.
Well, kindred spirits, I hope you enjoyed that. And once again, I hope I'm inspiring some of you to find your own version of fine living, no matter how simple or grand that may be, no matter where you live. Bye now.